G'day, Mick here from Zegrills Australia. If the fuse on your controller blows, which would be indicated by a power trip and the grill does not turn on when you turn the power on and turn it on to, to, to the smoke setting, it would be because one of these key components here has actually failed and caused a power short out. So you've got your auger motor here, you've got your ignition rod or your hot rod and your fan. And so what will happen is the little fuse inside here will have blown. So this is a spare fuse, let's hold on to that. And if we just pull this little box out, we'll be able to see in here if the fuse is blown. So this one here, I can see inside there that it's good, but if it was blown, it would have, you can see that the actual metal wire has broken and it might be a discolored, like a black color. This should blow if one of these fails because as power is gonna surge through, it's gonna overload the fuse and the fuse is gonna blow. So what we do is we can actually identify which of these devices has a problem by using a simple multimeter like this one. So we just put it on this beep setting down here. And what that means is it allows us to detect if there's a closed circuit and it'll give this beeping noise. So if we go ahead and we test this ignition rod here. Okay, that's good. There's no beeping noise and we've got, actually, I've got a resistance reading on the screen, which means that it's working properly. Do the same thing with this one. Cool, we've got a resistance reading there. Let's try on the auger motor here. Okay, so we're actually getting that beeping sound, which means there's power going all the way through this circuit um, as a result of probably a break in the wiring in the winding here in the motor. So this is faulty, this needs to be replaced. So by using a multimeter, we can determine very quickly which of those three items, those three consumers of electricity inside the grill are the ones causing the problem, order the right component and get that changed out and fixed. And as we said, what you would do is you would pop out this existing little um, blown fuse, and this is a standard fuse, which you can get in, in any kind of electrical store, very standard size one. And then you pop in your new one, just slide it in there, and then you can pop that back down inside. Um, and obviously do this once you've confirmed that you've already changed out the correct component, because if you just replace the fuse and plug it in again, without having fixed the, uh, the component, it's just gonna blow again. Uh, there's no point just changing the fuse over because the problem has not actually been solved. Okay, cheers.